Hello, Math Maniacs. It's Ashley here, and I'm with my son, Kale. Say hello. hello. Um, and we are going to do a version of Garbage Can with Addition uh, using actually Base 10. So we're going to draw the pictures of the Base 10 just so it can fit on our whiteboards. We're just going to show you a slight modification, especially if your child is still um, needing to understand the concept of place value. Um, it still does incorporate the regrouping, but it's just an easier visual for my son. All right, here we go. All right, so what we each have here is our own whiteboards with a place value chart up to 1,000. And then we have our little garbage can where we get to discard one number because we are trying to make the largest number, aren't we, Kale? Would you like to go first? All right, so Kale's gonna draw a card. And what did you get? Four. Four, so what would you like to do with that four? Where would you like to put it? What, what column is that? one okay he's gonna go into the ones all right so he decided the ones column and he's gonna draw his little ones if you had a bigger place value mat you could actually use um you know the base tens here and stuff but we don't have a lot of space on our whiteboard so we're just drawing it out all right kale it's my turn now so i drew a two so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be discarding that into my garbage can right there and I'm gonna also make sure that I'm using the pictures for um, the base 10, even in the garbage can as well. All right, what's your card? Ooh, a two. Where are you gonna put that one, Kale? Oh, he's not gonna put it in the garbage can. He's choosing to keep it in his ones. So now that he has entered two numbers into his ones column, he is actually um, finished with the ones column. So any other number after this will have to be entered into the tens or one hundreds. Um, and of course, uh, he could discard one into the garbage can still. So now I just drew a four. And of course, I already have a two in my garbage can. So I'm definitely going to add the four to my ones column. I All right, Gail just drew a nine. So where are you gonna put that? Remember, we're just going up to a hundred. It's just that we have that column on the off chance that we need to regroup. So he's gonna put the 100s. You remember how to draw the 100s? What shape it is? Yeah, so he's representing our base tens, um, our 100 base 10 with squares. So that's the square like this, which is 10 groups of 10, but he's drawing it in his pictures. So he's making squares. He's gonna go ahead and draw nine. Nice job, Kale. Ooh, you're already beating me. So now I drew an eight. So even though he does Ten. still have more in his hundreds column, I am gonna still put it in my eights on the off chance, um, sorry, in my hundreds column on the off chance that I do still pick up a nine. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna put my eight oh, one hundred. No, you think you're gonna win? All right, you wanna go and draw your other card? Your next card? Ooh, a one, an ace. I guess in this case, yeah, he's gonna use it as a one, so he's discarding like it. Little, it ones. could have been used at, technically as a 10 um, when you've been drawing it that way, if you were gonna go ahead and put it in the tens or, or could have been a 100 in how we're playing it, but he's choosing to discard it as a 100, or sorry, as a one. All right, so we're each on our last draw through the magic of uh, filming uh, on our camera here. I just, uh, uh, I ended up having us to um, get to this point because um, we played a few rounds off camera. All right, so this is his last card and he only has one spot to enter it because he had one more space left in his tens column. Mm, so he drew a five. So he's gonna go ahead and show me those five tens. Oh, do you think you just added five tens? Oh, you had eight from before. Ten five. Oh yeah, I see your five, nice job. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add my last card. Ooh, I got a six and I only have my ones to enter in. So I kind of save that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tally up what we have in each column. Okay, so I'm going to start and add up each column. And just like when we're doing addition, we head to over to the ones column. And I've got four, six is 10. Ooh, so Kale, I have 10, 10 ones. Can I regroup that into the tens column? Yeah, I definitely can regroup that to the tens column. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually erase that and I'm gonna add that 10 to my tens column. All right, Kale, I'm gonna add these up. I'm gonna go by twos, two, four, six, seven, eight, 
10, 12, 14, 16, 17. So I have 17. Do I have enough tens to add to my 100? How many tens are in 100? Five. Mm, are you sure? 10, Ten, 20, 10. 50. Yeah, 10 tens are in 100. Ten. You're right. So I'm going to go ahead and take 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to erase those. Put them into the And I'm going to add the 100. And I'm just going to take away that 10. And now we're going to count my 100 scales. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 one hundreds, which means how many hundreds are, or sorry, how many, yeah, I guess how many hundreds are in a thousand? So how many 100s are in a 1,000, Kale? 10. 10. So that means, can I regroup some? Yes. So I, yeah. So I'm going to take away 8, 9, 10. I'm going to add, and here I'm going to make this look like my 3D cube, which is 10 um, groups of 100, right? So if we know it in our base 10, I don't have one on me here, but it's blue like that, and it's in the shape of a cube. So I'm going to make sure I take that away, and I have one. So... I'm looking at my, all my digits, and maybe I'll just make a space down here. This is what I end up having. Kale, okay, what is my number? 1,770. Beautiful. Let's calculate yours and because. see. Who. All right, Kale, do you want to go ahead and write the number six here? So you have six ones. There you go. And now can you count your tens for me? Uh, one. No, you 10, can count by 10s 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, 120, 130. So I'll do 1, 3, 0. So 130 is the same as 1310s, but if I'm looking at the number 130, Kale, is there a 100 that I can regroup into the hundreds column? Okay, and how many tens make up a hundred? Uh, ten. Yeah. All right. Ten. So let's take this one hundred away, and let's add another square, another one hundred there. Beautiful. And now I'm just going to make sure that we erase the ten tens that we removed, that we regrouped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have three left over. So I'm going to just show that we have three tens in there. All right, let's look at our hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Ooh, if we already have a 1,000, why don't we just move that 1,000 over? Why don't you put one over here and erase those 10 100? All right, so just Add up the remaining 100s because we already did regroup the 10. Since he counted it that way, we thought well, just rather than wait, we I drew a little cube for him and we added the 10 100. So there's the thousand. But he's going to count what was left over from the hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and write seven to represent the seven 100s. So go ahead and write seven. Okay, so Kale, can you tell me your final number? Mm, so 1,736. Beautiful, so you got 1,736. Hold on, Louie. And I got 1,770. So who do you think won? Mm this round I did all right so there is another way to play garbage can using place values um, it just had him using the language really making sure that he saw the ones being regrouped into the tens and tens being regrouped into the hundreds um, there is other versions that you could do we've played it where we've only had cards one to four and we did it the way that you see in the video so we had the cards lined up above each other but it didn't have regroupings for any of you who are working on addition without regrouping that's another um, change that you can make to it to sort of play that works for you and your learners all right um so with that said we are going to go and try another round to see if he can beat his mom and we'll talk to you later this is ashley signing off math is awesome <laughs> math is awesome